Hey y'all, it's Mommy Wata and I am back. Thank you so much for your support of Mommy Wata Tarot. Please continue to like, share, and subscribe to this content. Also, tap that bell notification button, y'all, so you will be alerted whenever I post. And we're going to hop into this download that I received. There is a woman who wants someone in my collective to know that she didn't have anything to do with any of the spiritual and physical attacks against you. She does not want to be put in the mix of who you feel has wrongfully attacked you in any way. She is innocent. Fool talks about innocence. That's that's what she's saying. I don't know if she's innocent or not, though. This somebody that you've known possibly since you were younger. Okay, if she wants you to know, she ain't got shit to do with it, whatever it is. So let's see what we need to know. Because something has already been shown on here. Something has already been showing her that anybody that has been marked for messing with you, they suffering some sort of consequences. They have no way, their options in life right now. They facing restrictions. So she don't want to be in that number. So she's been trying to send it out to you in the universe, honey, that she ain't got shit to do with it. So let's just see, y'all. Thank you for that additional clarification, Holy Spirit. What else would you like for us to know about this, please? And thank you, Holy Spirit. What is the in additional insight and guidance that you would like for the collective to receive? The lesson, most of all, Holy Spirit, what do we need to know from you through me at this time? Please and thank you, Holy Spirit. Page of Swords. She has been observing people catching hell for playing with you now. Now, that's what I'm picking up. And she wants you to know that she ain't got shit to do with it. Completely absolved from the situation. Two of Pentacles, fool back on the bottom, child. I'm telling you, she wants you to know that she's not one of these people who were trying to manipulate anything in your life. Okay? Somebody is having to weigh their options heavily out of whoever was messing with you. She's watched somebody scramble to face whatever backlash from messing with you. And she has tried to separate herself on the physical realm as well from whoever is in the Two of Pentacles. This woman has went in another direction, okay? She's looking for a new opportunity in life when it comes to the company she keeps, child. But that let me know she was around whoever this was, possibly a cancer. But she going in another direction. Okay? Food to the chariot. She don't want no parts. And I'm saying she, this must be a feminine. Whoever you think she was connected to that was messing with you, possibly a king of swords, she wants you to know she didn't lay that partnership to rest, honey. Okay? That, in fact, she may even have to be recovering from something this King of Swords put her through as well. Because he didn't put you through, through something. And that's why he catching it now. Because it's something called divine intervention here. You one of them people that bring people karma in. You one of them people that help the universe balance the scales. You are one of those people who can moderate a situation. And you done moderated a situation for a king of swords. He's having to recover. As a result of whatever this backlash is. That is on his life right now. She's watching him go through something. This man could even be hospitalized. I don't even know if I'm saying that right right now. He could be in a damn hospital. That's better. Child. Everybody got time for all of that. Okay, but you one of them people who be shifting the scales in people's life 
You ain't out here as no justice energy, but temperance is the same type of vibe. But a temperance balancing act is more divinely guided. It's more divinely orchestrated. So something about your energy, something about this king of swords trying to discipline you somehow, because that's what he tried to do now. He tried to discipline you. That's what I just heard. Clarify. That shit then ooh, got his ass up under judgment. Him trying to discipline you. Him trying to pass judgment on you. Got him up under some form of judgment. And this fool chariot energy, they not fucking with this king of swords. Because they don't want to be up under judgment either. But I don't know. I'm getting something like See, they at a crossroads because they know they ass about to be sacrificed next because they watching him get sacrificed right now, okay? So they trying to stop themselves from being sacrificed by projecting this energy onto you that they ain't have nothing to do with it. But this motherfucker had everything to do with it. Yeah, they did. I'm picking up on it. The fact that they're trying to project energy to you to make you think otherwise let me know they had everything to do with it and this is somebody that you know that you grew up with from your past that you and you and her had this king of swords in common okay and she is doing something spiritually to make you feel disconnected from her when it comes to pointing out to the universe who played in your face or who was playing in your energy. I'm telling you, but she's still playing in your energy. For me to even say that, the whole playing in your energy, the whole trying to send you something to make you think she innocent and she's far from it. She took action to cause a ten of swords for you just like this King of Swords did, and they celebrated and they worked together to do it. This could be a Cancer with this Moon Chariot energy. This is her. She did, okay? But his ass is catching it. It's really giving he didn't fail ill. He didn't fail ill, and somehow she's been made aware with this Page of Swords that the reason why this man didn't fail ill is because of this Knight of Swords, Ten of Swords action that y'all took against this Queen of Wands. Okay, so I don't know. She could be damn listening. They took her and this King of Swords had some sort of friendship, partnership, collaboration. It could have even been a secret. But somehow she feel like you know about her. See, they play around in spell work. Yeah, they do. And she didn't pick up that you know who participated with this King of Swords and trying to cause destruction in your life. Clarify. She know you know. That's why this moon out here is Six of Pentacles. She knows that you're well aware of who worked with this man against you for whatever reason. It don't even fucking matter what the reason was. It's the fact that they was trying to Knight of Swords, Ten of Swords you. And now that he catching hell for it, she trying to not take none of the blame. She trying to avoid her karma. Her karma ain't rolled in yet, but his has. And she's watching this man suffer now. Moon is falling right up under the four swords. They don't know what's wrong with him. He in the hospital six, seven of cups. They done ran all kind of tests. Trying to figure out what, what options they have when it comes for treatment. And they at a loss. This part of his judgment, though. Yep. That's what I'm hearing now. Five of Cups coming right up under this judgment card. That's why she really scared. Because he got some unknown illness that they can't pinpoint, which means that they ain't really been able to help heal him. He's suffering. I'm telling you, I'm picking up on it. And that shit got her scared. Because she knows she next. Ten of Swords is falling right up under the chariot. So she been hoping that you will forgive her. Ten of Wands, but I think it's a little bit too late for that. 
because these people tried to have you in a ten of swords. Okay, so it just it it just it's only fair shit with this ten of wands. What you get back is what you sent out. Ten ten. So they sent out some sort of death or destruction for your life. Death comes in many formats. Okay, and these people show tried to cause some endless for you. Now, this king of swords is, he can't do shit, but lay down. And I'm telling you, this woman been trying to peer into your psyche and figure out where you stand when it comes to her and her being on the chopping block. So these people might think you a witch or something, but you ain't no witch. You ain't no witch now. You was an earth angel though. Temperance with the Queen of Wands. That's what she is. That's why they catching it. 1101. They ain't see that coming. Okay? These people know you are Earth Angel. They know you ain't no damn witch. Well, now they think you might be a witch. 1111. I'm telling you, she think you, she think you might be a little witchy because of how this man then got sat down physically. He said he done been laid down physically. Okay? So she's scared now, and this is really giving that this chariot energy and this king of swords. They thought they was, they was some sort of, of spiritual powerhouses. Clarify, Holy Spirit, Emperor that came out here, child, but it's damn near going in reverse. Okay, it's damn near going in reverse because the Emperor reverse is domineering, controlling, lack of discipline, stubborn, reckless, a tyrant. So, see, they thought they was dominating that damn spiritual work vibe. This king of swords and his chariot, and that shit didn't, went right back on their ass. Because he, he, come, he coming out as the emperor in reverse, and she coming out as the queen of cups now. So, she was right there by his side, assisting him, 1221, with any and everything he was doing against you. Okay, don't believe the hype. And the fact that she even got the balls to still be playing in your energy to make you think otherwise. She asking for it. That's what I'm hearing. She asking for it. Because if you really regretted what you had done spiritually against this Queen of Wands Earth Angel, your ass would not still be playing in that spell word to try to manipulate her any further. You ain't learned your lesson, but you about to, devil. What else, Holy Spirit? I'm telling you, four pentacles. Oh, she about to learn a hard lesson. It's coming in. Her karma coming in next. She worrying about this damn emperor in reverse king of swords. She better worry about her own damn self because this was coming towards her. Okay? And no amount of Spiritual manipulation going to get you out of this one. You might as well go ahead and plan. Prepare yourself for what's coming in and where you headed. I don't know why I feel like I'm talking to this chariot, queen of cups, directly. But this person think they pulling the wool over somebody's eyes. They, think, they still think they got some sort of spiritual skills and shit. Life ain't showed them enough yet. But life really about to kick in and get in gear. And let them know what it's really all about. Because it ain't no way. If you see the person that you was doing spell work with. Now on a sick bed. Unable to be healed. Why would you still be doing spell work? That's God trying to tell you. That's the universe. Even if you don't believe in the most high God. That's the universe trying to tell your ass. That's what's going to happen to you. If you keep fucking with that shit. Okay. That's what the universe is trying to tell this woman. But this woman has tried to get back in her little metaphysical books and bags and fuck with your psyche once again. This time to get herself out of trouble. And it's only caused more trouble for herself. This masculine ain't in the Ten of Swords. He in the Ten of Wands. He in the Four of Swords. He in the Moon. He in the Five of Cups. But he ain't in the Ten of Swords. 
the ten of swords with the devil is falling right up under this chariot. It's like her pay, her punishment, and I hate to say punishment, but her punishment, her penance is about to be far worse because she ain't letting it go. She ain't learned from what this man going through. Queen of swords, she ain't learned. She ain't got the lesson. Now she finna match him and be even more in a pickle. Look like to me, strength. Her struggle finna be even more difficult. Five of swords, cause she wouldn't quit. Five of swords, nine of wands. Still trying to spiritually antagonize this queen of wands by making her think that you're innocent. Damn, I swear I keep switching to talk to this hoe, so she might be listening. But I'm picking up whoever you are, Queen of Wands, Sagittarius energy. You are in my collective. And it's very possible that the person who has been spiritually attacking you knows that you watch my channel. And they be watching, watching what you watch for spiritual clues. Because I'm telling you, this woman spiritually spy with this hermit card, and she definitely has peered into the situation to see how she can affect your judgment because she feels like you have done something back to them for what they have tried to do to you. She's not realizing that this is divine intervention, that this is the universe forcing her to have a new perspective. She's still trying to finagle her way out of it, and she finagling her ass right into a ten of swords because... The universe see her. The spiritual realm peeping her once again. They shaking their damn head. Because we done told you through your partner in crime that you need to cut it out with the six of swords. You need to move on. Turn your back to whatever it was you was doing with him. And try to broaden your horizons in another direction while you still got a chance. See, this was... His penance was a precursor to what she was going to face if she didn't change her ways. But she still out here was doing that shit, trying to convince you not to include her in whatever it is that she think you included her in. Because I'm telling you, she think <laughs> it ain't funny, God. See, people, see that's their that's they mentality. I just said something about that the other day. Just because you think somebody else think a certain way, that don't mean that's how that person think. You're going to have to broaden your horizons. And they, this person truly feel like because they was doing spell work to destroy your life, you've done some sort of spell work in return to destroy, your, destroy their life. And you haven't. That's that karma, baby, because I'm telling you, she finna catch it too. She finna catch it now. And she know it's coming because whoever you are, you having a victory in life. Okay? You may even have a new romance that has already been established in your life or is about to arrive because a six of wands to a king of wands, that's somebody riding in. That's that's the that's the hero from the battle. That's the warrior king. Ride back into town after successfully defeating his country, his his manner, whatever the fuck. That's what I'm getting. I don't know. This could be an actual royal I'm picking up on for somebody because I heard all of that shit. So if that's his lineage, if that's what his past people used to do, that's who I'm picking up on. For real, for real. So they're in her possibly peeking into your life with this hermit card because she didn't spiritually spy on you to see what you've been doing. She can't see if you put spell work on them, 1919, but she think you did. But she didn't peep that you got some good news, a good, a good future headed your way, okay? And she done seen what the future going to be for her in this masculine. They're going to be in the five of pentacles in various ways. Okay? They're going to need, they're going to have lack, and they're going to experience loss. And that's on God. Because they did try to have you in 
that same energy. And it's been backfired. But she know you got a divine masculine coming in. She didn't peep that now. But she couldn't peep what you did spiritually. And she still ain't getting that. It's because you didn't do anything. Okay? Dummy. <laughs> I'm just saying. Damn. Everybody ain't on that evil, sordid, repugnant shit. 2020. Some people got a clear vision for themselves and their lives. And it don't include that type of spiritual warfare or manipulation against another. That's why she couldn't see it, because you didn't do it. Okay? Because I'm talking about for real. She was trying to figure out what you, what type of action you took. What did you manifest? What did you do to manifest this man into a hospital bed? And the Holy Spirit says that's the truth now. What type of breakthrough did you conduct, execute to have success against them. And she ain't never going to be able to figure it out. 2112, because as long as she don't believe in the Most High God and the Holy Spirit and how they can show up and show out for you, 2121, she ain't never going to get why this King of Swords is facing what he's facing and why she about to face what she's facing. She'll never understand it until she accepts the belief that the Most High God is real, the Holy Spirit is divine, and they don't play about people who intentionally try to live and do the right thing and honor them while doing so. So sorry. That's how that thing worked. In case anybody was wondering. Okay, so, you know, in case this Queen of Cups was wondering why are you being favored out of the three of y'all, that's why. Okay? That's the breakthrough you've had. That's the mental clarity that you maintain. And that's why they in the Tower and the Nine of Swords. These lovers here who were spiritually attacking you for a very long time with this Seven of Pentacles, they they built a foundation off of spiritually attacking you. They built a, a trauma bond, okay? That shit ain't cute, y'all. And I'm, I, you know, we can empathize with people when we share the same pain, okay? When we share the same type of wounds that they have, whether that's the loss of a loved one, similar abuse, similar experiences, okay? It does help you feel like you have somebody that understands what you went through. But bonding with somebody off of your trauma and then using that as the initial foundation to create trauma for other people that ain't it. And that's definitely not what this energy is about. Okay? That's that devil energy. And that's why that came out for this Queen of Cups too. That's that codependent attachment bullshit. And, you know, it really grinds my gears when I see women who I know have purposely caused hurt and harm for other women, get up on public platforms and talk shit about people picking at a woman's pain when I know that they have caused pain for other women. Like that's that type of shit that I'm talking about here. People trying to play the victim. People throwing, throwing rocks and hiding their hand and act like they ain't did nothing when they know they was front and center participating on the battlefield with whoever against chosen ones. And even if they ain't chosen, people who just out here trying to live and do the right thing, that does make them chosen in God's eyes. It's levels to it. But their humbleness, their wholeheartedness, that makes them divine as well. Okay, so when you out here doing that to those type of people, this is the type of energy nine times out of 10, you gonna get back. 2444 when I was saying that, 
Because these people are spiritually protected. I ain't saying they can't face no adversities. I'm not saying that, you know, life is just the bee's knees for them. But I am saying that the universe is not going to allow them to continuously be persecuted. If they persevere and push through those attacks and still are somehow managing to do the best they can, and that entails doing the right thing, the universe is not going to keep letting that person go through it. I don't give a damn what nobody say. It, that, it don't work like that. Because if they're still putting out this positive energy, if they're still putting out purpose and love, they're balancing their light with their dark, God not going to let them keep going through that cycle, okay, with, with a, a karmic enemy. Because that's what these people were to this earth angel. They were karmic enemies, okay? Anything else, Holy Spirit? Because I'm telling you, whoever this Queen of Cups is, she's somewhere playing the victim now. She's somewhere, oh, we didn't do this and that to this earth angel. We didn't do anything to this Queen of Wands. She's doing this to us, but we, we didn't do anything to her. Why is she doing this to us? <laughs> this whole playing the victim. I'm telling you, she playing the victim because she know what... This karmic confirmation, child, I can't hardly get it out because it's, it's like the universe confirming it. Confirmation, I'm telling you. This karmic couple did this and that, or at least attempted to do this and that to that queen of wands now. And now that's what's happening to them. And she's somewhere playing victim now. But as soon as she got home from the hospital and trying to see about this man and visit him. Soon as she left the hospital, honey, she went right to her damn metaphysical closet. This hoe got a, a closet. She she think you a witch. This a witch right here, this Queen of Cups cancer energy, okay? She went right to her little work room, her little, her little metaphysical desk, and she went to trying to figure out what she needed to know about what you may or may not have done and how she could make amends with you, honey. You better know that. She can put on for the city all she wants to. Okay. But she heartbroken about this King of Pentacles. This king, this that's who he was. I'm telling you, he was showing up in some more dominant energy prior to this fall from grace he experiencing. And and it's almost as if these people was trying to harvest your energy as well in some some sorted way with that knight of swords, ten of swords, five of wands, eight of swords. So any abundance that these this couple may have achieved off of you, that abundance is also coming back to you. Three of swords is falling right up under their five of pentacles energy. They're also taking some sort of financial loss. Because the King of Pentacles is falling right up under the Six of Wands. You're about to get a committed partner as well. And whoever this King of Wands is, he represents this King of Pentacles too. You're about to be stable and the person coming into your life is stable. Knight of Pentacles. I think both of y'all are hard workers. I think both, both of y'all are very grounded. Y'all follow routines. You are not a frivolous energy, even though people can feel like Queen of Wands can be wild acting and free spirits and, you know, off the rails at times, even you're very grounded. You're very serene and calm and peaceful coming out with this Sagittarius energy before this Queen of Wands here. Okay. So you got a good head on your shoulders. You're very responsible. You're productive. You're a hard worker. And this King of Wands coming in towards you, King of Wands, King of Pentacles energy, he's, he's witnessed all of that in his observation of you as well. This is why he wants to come in with this romantic pro proposal. Because he does view you as this divine feminine, empress energy, and 
he knows that you and him will have a blissful relationship with this Ten of Cups, okay? So, you know, she done peeped all your shit, honey. But you, no, I ain't gonna say that. She did. She peeped what the universe wanted her to see. The universe wanted this person to see that you ain't skipping a beat. You about to be in a in domestic bliss, child. Okay. And you ain't a bit more worried about her or him. And she just need to buckle up. That's what I'm hearing. Anything else. Buckle up, honey. Because you about to be sitting in the Ace of Cups with this King of Pentacles, King of Wands here. These people going to be in the Tower, Nine of Swords, and you're going to be in the Ten of Cups, Ace of Cups. She was shown that it was almost like a little slap across the cheek for her. Like, and that's what you get even more for still trying to spiritually spy and do some sort of spiritual manipulation towards this divine feminine. And the fact that this man came out as an emperor in reverse, that let me know that this was possibly some sort of divine counterpart. This was probably your twin flame at one point. Clarify, Holy Spirit. Because I seen how she came out here as the Queen of Cups. Like, he thought she was his twin flame. He, he, that he thought she was her, his ideal love choice. Can't even hardly say it because it ain't damn true. Okay. But they both came out as a king and queen of swords together because they about to be opposition in a minute because this king of swords is going to start. Let me get another deck because I'm hearing all of this. I was about to close the read now, child. But the king of swords is, is picking up that the reason why he started to get it. He's starting to, to understand that thing called universal law. That the reason why he going through what he going through is because everything they tried to do against you. She ain't learned that lesson yet. And look, when I page of pentacles in reverse, he understanding now that he is the cause for his own demise, his actions that he took, not nothing that you've done. She ain't getting that yet because she's still trying to do shit. But if this man get up out of this hospital, I promise you he will never do any magic ever again. 32-32, he done with that magic life. So they going to be opposition because he not going to want to fool with her. She's still on that shit after everything he done went through. It's something like they've already had some sort of discussion about why he would be why he is sick and the possibility of it's coming from you and this man has thought about it he's he's thought about it and he's realizing that no i ain't going through this because she's doing something to me i'm going through this because of what i did to her clarify holy spirit ace of wands he's having this new path in life because of the actions that he took, okay, to cause confusion and disillusionment and delay even for this divine feminine, so he could have options in life. I'm telling you. So he got a he got a new a new start, honey, but it ain't come the way he wanted it to. He getting a new opportunity in life. Wow. I'm just looking at how what it was. Ace of Wands, Ace of Pentacles, Ace of Swords, Magician, Nine of Swords. It's almost like God didn't show him. You know, you can be renewed. You can be restored. But it's about the action you take once you come up out of this Nine of Swords that you're currently fighting. So he didn't have some sort of epiphany spiritual reckoning as well because i'm telling you i was picking up that he ain't gonna want to fuck with this queen of cups no more because he been shown that the reason why he's suffering is because of what he done against this queen of wands and if he ever wants to have a new opportunity in life if he wants to have a breakthrough with his medical illness he needs to take better action in the future 
or he will be severely restricted again. That's what this man has been shown. And he ain't fucking with this Queen of Cups. The fool, now he in the fool energy. He want to be free from the karma and the other restraints on his life. But he knows that it's a result of his actions. Okay, he's still not trying to project onto anyone anything. He, he ain't about that life no more. He taking personal responsibility. And he, he's going to look. Because divine intervention came and saw, visited him in the hospital. Y'all think I'm playing. He been shown. This why I'm going through or feeling like this is what's coming to me. But if I do this and I get on the right side of things with the most high God, this ain't got to be my life. Because that's what he feel like he about to face. Because they can't figure out what's wrong with this man. But he will be healed if he asks, asks for forgiveness. If he admits what he's done wrong and accepts his penance and moves forward in the right way, he can be resurrected. He can be born again. See, he's been shown that, child. This man had, had an awakening on the hospital bed. He ain't fucking with her. And she back at the house still trying to fucking fuck with you, child. Mm, child. Anything else? Because I'm about to get up out of this. Four of Wands. What I just said. Back at the house trying to fuck with you. And justice about to be served on her. Because she's still playing your energy. Still trying to manipulate you somehow. And... Her shit about to come in right now. It, it, the wheel is, is currently shifting. Because I'm telling you, it's about to get started. Because she's still trying to carry on with this routine of spiritual manipulation against you. Okay? That five of wands is... Oh, Y'all, I can't... Her, look, her energy telling on herself. Her energy is telling on herself. She's still in this routine of being in the moon devil with the five of swords. This man not going to be doing that no more. Okay? But that's that's her aim to fame. Her, her claim to fame is knowing how to do the spell work. And she about to be in the ten of swords because she won't quit. Hell, she already in the five of swords. Five of pentacles back out here again for them. For her this time. Oh, it's coming. This pivotal change because of her low vibrational behavior that she continues to participate in. Both of these people had spiritual epiphanies when this man got sick. Both of these people received communication from the divine, from the spiritual realm as to why this man was sick. And, he, and she received it through her spiritual spying. He had an awakening on the hospital bed. But they both got that download, okay? And he is applying it appropriately, but she's still trying to be manipulative. And I'm telling you, it's not looking good. It just ain't looking good. I, I don't know what else to say. Y'all see what came out in two different decks. But I digress. I hope this message helps someone. I hope it gave you insight and guidance on how you should move forward. But always remember, y'all, if it doesn't apply, please let it fly. Take only what resonates, leave the rest, and I'll be back soon with another one, y'all. Peace.